I think those are the core things to like think about the data use cases and the things you want to get out of Amplitude and what your critical flows and critical actions are. And with that basis to think about, okay, what's your tracking? What's the core events that you want to track and bring those into Amplitude. You also have something with the SDKs, with the latest browser SDK, you have auto capture, which gives you a first pulse check of your user's behavior. For example, like daily active users or you get page views and the like. So that can give you a starting point. For custom events, you have this flow where it's like uh, implementing and then for the chart setup and actually getting familiar with uh, with Amplitude. I think the Amplitude Academy is uh, very strong and uh, gives kind of also the core concepts, the core chart types. So I'd recommend to check that out. And then for the ongoing, like it helps to also initially already think about what's the long-term maintenance plan and like how do we, you ensure data quality over time. So that's typically the flow. I think there's general question is, do you already have an existing setup and like there's already events implemented, but maybe in the case, as we heard earlier, uh, it's quite common, like a setup is done, teams are switching and maybe that initial implementation is not uh, clearly documented. So there it's more focused on like, okay, what's actually there that can be used and where does it need an update and kind of starting on the green field. Um, yeah, I think being deliberate about the data use cases, the KPIs, the critical flows, and then implementing the right events is uh, is the way to go while in parallel up-leveling your skills with uh, the Amplitude Academy or um, also like community events like this. Mm -hmm.